Hey, Nathan here. Welcome back to another flocking artificial intelligence video. And in this video, we are going to discuss the algorithm behind alignment. So last video, we discussed the concepts behind alignment. We discussed how to calculate it, the whole idea of why we calculate it, and the mathematics behind it. So the whole idea behind alignment is that the desired result is that every entity in the flock should be pointing the same way. Now that will not always be the case. We might have separation that will take precedence over alignment. But alignment will always be active on the entities and will always be trying to adjust itself to point the same way as every other entity. So the last few algorithm videos, I have the entity have the default of a velocity of zero. I have changed this to have the velocity default to be the standard rotation that you provide multiplied by the speed that the object can travel. I've changed that so we can see how the velocity looks for five seconds before alignment kicks in and does its thing. So when we first launch the game, the entities will be moving at their own way, their own velocity for five seconds, then alignment will kick in and hopefully each entity will be pointing the same way as every other entity in the flock. So the same thing, I did the same thing in this one. I have set everything all up. Just some slight modifications. I set up a random velocity for each entity. So it does not match the concept video, but that's fine. Uh, we're just going to discuss the algorithm here. And then I manually set up the flock so I can avoid the find new neighbors algorithm. So I set up the flock manually and in five seconds it will use alignment and hopefully every entity will be pointing the same way. Alright, so I already coded the skeleton for the alignment method, so let's go ahead and add on top of that. So the alignment method needs to return a force vector. That is a vector 2. It accepts the entity, our source entity. We need to have a int neighbors count. We need to average the velocity of every other entity in the flock. So when we need to average, we need to have the count. For each, we need to loop through every entity in the flock. So for every entity in the flock, we need to check to make sure the entity we are investigating is not ourself. If E does not equal to entity, that means it's, it, it is a different entity we sum the entity velocities. The force vector is the sum of the entity velocities. Uh, plus equals here, not just plus. So force vector is equal to force vector plus the velocity of the current entity. Now we need to increase the neighbor count. If neighbors is greater than zero, remember we cannot normalize a zero vector. If you do that, you will get weird results because it will result in NAN, not a number. So we check to make sure if neighbors is greater than zero. So force vector dot normalize. 
Remember, I created a extension method, and for those of you that do not know about extension method, I plan to release a C Sharp video on that. But you can go ahead and use this extension method class in your own program. I have created an extension method for the vector2 structure. So when I call a vector, when I call dot average, it uses this extension method. So it divides the x component by count and y component by count. So I just call force vector dot normalize. or I'm sorry, force vector dot average. Now I call force vector dot normalize. So that's it. That's all we have to do. That's one of the easiest algorithms in the flocking artificial intelligence. So I press F5. We run the game. Now this will go on for five seconds. After five seconds, the alignment algorithm should kick in. So I'm going to let go of my mouse and let it continue. As you see, they're changing their positioning, their rotation. They're now pointing the same way. Let me run the game again. Five seconds. After that, the alignment will kick in. No other changes to the rotation. The only change is the alignment algorithm. So now every entity is perfectly aligned. Now it's changing, alignment's kicking in. Now they're all pointing the same way. Okay, so that is it for alignment. That is the algorithm on how to do alignment. So flocking artificial intelligence is the combination of those three steering behaviors, alignment, cohesion, and separation. Those three combined will give us flocking behavior. Now, I will upload these videos there is one more video of this series I have left to do. Actually two. I'm going to create a framework for artificial intelligence. That will be a the tutorial after this. And then the last tutorial of this series, I will combine all three of those flocking behaviors. I will recode them with the new artificial intelligence engine and we will combine all three and see the result. So for now, you have the introduction to flocking artificial intelligence, the cohesion concepts, the cohesion algorithm, the separation concepts, the separation algorithm, the alignment concepts, and now the alignment algorithm. Two tutorials after that, we will combine all three algorithms and see the result. You are free to do that on your own. Just combine all three algorithms we have discussed already. You can combine them just by simply doing this. E dot cohesion and e dot velocity plus equals so the combination of those three algorithms will give us flocking artificial intelligence alright thanks for watching the series is not done yet but I'm going to go ahead and upload these it is the 20th which I mentioned was going to be the date that I will upload these so I'm going to render this video and upload all the videos all at once so you can watch them all at once. Learn the algorithms, learn the concepts, 
and then stay tuned for the final result to see how it will look. Uh, the introduction video is what was the ending result. All three of those algorithms combined was what was used for the introduction video. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.